So for this video, the instructions say, find the inverse function of the function f if, if it exists where a is equal to f of x is equal to negative 12x plus 5. In our example b, we have f of x is equal to x minus 1 cubed plus 4. So the process of finding the inverse function looks like this. So step one, instead of f of x, replace it with y. They mean the same thing. f of x is the same thing as y. Step two, switch x and y. So this y is now going to be an x, and this x over here is now going to be a y. Step three, solve for y. So if I'm solving for y, the first thing I'm going to do is subtract 5 on both sides. It's going to cancel on the right-hand side, leaving me with negative 12y. On the left-hand side, we had x, and then we subtracted 5 from it, so we now have x minus 5. And then we need to divide out the coefficients. So we're dividing both sides by negative 12 to cancel out on the right-hand side, leaving us with y. And on the left-hand side, so that's a negative out there, x minus 5 over 12. Last step, replace y with, uh, with your inverse uh, function here. So f uh, to the negative 1 of x. Uh, is equal to negative x minus 5 over 12. And this negative actually needs to go out in the front, make sure that we understand that that negative applies to the entire fraction. You could also distribute that negative to the numerator if you wanted to, um, as long as you know that that negative does go to the whole fraction there. Otherwise, that is your inverse function, for example, a. Doing the same process, for example, b, so step one, replace f of x with y. Step two, switch x and y together. All right. Step three, solve for y. So the first thing I need to do for solve, to solve for y is I need to move this four over to the other side. So I'm going to subtract it to both sides. It's going to cancel on the right, leaving me with y minus one cubed. And on the left, we have x minus four. Uh, continuing to solve for y, we need to get rid of this third power. So the way that we're going to get rid of that is by taking the cube root of both sides. Because a cube root and a third power are opposites of each other, so those are going to cancel, leaving us with y minus 1. And on the left-hand side, we have the cube root of x minus 4. And then we almost have it solved for y. All we got to do is move this one over to the other side where it's going to cancel on the right-hand side, leaving us with y. And on the left-hand side, we have the cube root of x minus 4 plus 1. Otherwise, the last step is to replace y with f inverse of x. Otherwise, these are your inverse functions for the two examples. That's it for this video.